Each summer, the scouts at Elite Prospects sit down and compile a list of the top affiliated prospects in the world. At number 10, Pavel Minchyukov. The physical defenseman is inventive and dynamic on transition. He can overwhelm opponents with his offensive abilities off the rush. Loves to activate. There's three zone value here, and number one defensive upside. At number nine, Detroit Red Wings defense and prospect Simone Edvinson. Edvinson is a physical specimen standing six foot six. He had to adjust to the AHL last season and that resulted in a more careful style, but he has great feet, handles the puck well, and a big shot. There's some rough edges here, but a really unique upside. Next up, Luke Hughes of the New Jersey Devils, a highly mobile, ultra-creative defenseman, great offensive instincts, and has all the confidence in the world. The defensive game continues to improve, but the Devils will gladly pay him to create rather than stymie the opposition. At number seven, Columbus Blue Jackets' David Urasek. The top defensive oriented prospect in the game has unmatched three-zone impact. He's creative, he initiates in transition, he's a deft passer with a big shot and already physically mature. Another one with top defensive upside. At number six, Zach Benson. Slipped all the way to 13th overall this past draft, but made the Sabres out of camp as an 18 year old. This kid has elite hands in playmaking, he's ultra competitive, thrives in transition, and has a solution for nearly every problem thrown at him. At number five, Arizona Coyotes forward Logan Cooley. The best prospects in the game find ways to improve when they step up in competition, and that's what Logan Cooley continues to do. Offensively, He's a better playmaker. He pulls defenders towards him before passing through them with more regularity, dynamic skating, quick hands, and loads of confidence. This is a high octane player with a lot of upside. At number four on our list, Matt V. Mishkoff. The Flyers top prospect has incredible history of production. He's a dual threat offensive catalyst that can turn a nothing play into a quick strike goal before you can blink. The only issue, you gotta wait a couple years on them. At number three, the most recent second overall pick by the Anaheim Ducks, Leo Carlson. This is a big, smart, mobile center. He has high-end hockey sense, stacks on top of his physical tools to create a really unique two-way player. Another one of these guys that has top center upside and will be a cornerstone for the Ducks franchise moving forward. At number two, Adam Fantilli of the Columbus Blue Jackets. This kid could be the top power center in the game for the next decade plus. He can turn tricky passes into elusive dekes or scoring chances. His one-timer on the power play is a serious weapon, but he can kill you in transition. Thrives into the middle of the ice, can pass it, can shoot it, can beat you with his hands. Finally, Connor Bedard, the complete offensive package. The hands and feet are dangerous and work in harmony, but it's the shot that's a truly nuclear weapon. He is an answer for anything and everything teams can throw at him. The most skilled prospect since McDavid and will likely one day rival him as the top player on the planet.